Okay, uh, you've got a cubic between 0 and 75. Uh, use h10 is 30 to get the p. Okay, so h of 10 would equal, so if I sub in 10 here, I'd get minus 6 plus 10p, and that's supposed to equal 30. So, yeah, I can see that p will be 36 over 10. Complete the table below. Mm, table mode. Start at zero. Now, I only need to go up to 70 in tens. Five, 30, 37, 32, 21, 10, 5, 12. Plot it. Yeah. Fine. Uh, zero, two, one, ten, thirty, twenty, thirty seven, thirty, thirty two, uh, forty, twenty one, fifty. 10, 60, 5, 70, 12, 75, 21.875, okay, cubic, okay, it's a roller coaster. Find the derivative. Okay. Um, let's, let's scroll back. 0 0.003x squared. Minus 0 0.24x plus p. And I think P was 3.6, wasn't it? Um, yep, okay. Show that the section of track reaches a maximum height above the ground when, the, uh, when X is 20. Well, I could solve when this equals 20, or I could just show that if I sub in 20, I get zero. 0 0.003 times 20 squared minus 0 0.24 times 20 plus 3.6. Let's make sure that's 0. Which equals 0. And let's calculate the second derivative to show that it's a maximum. 0 0.006x minus 0 0.24 and the second derivative at 20 is minus 3 over 25 which is negative which makes it a max. Okay. We want to find the inflection point. Okay, so I need the second derivative to be zero. The second derivative is 0 0.006x minus, okay, 0 0.006x minus 24 should equal zero.
Oh, it's not 24, is it? That doesn't seem right. Yeah, yeah. 0 0.24. 0 0.24. 0.24. 0 0.24 divided by 0 0.006. Uh, so that means x should be 40. So 40 is the inflection point. Let's just see if that's roughly right there. Yep, yep that does look like the inflection point. All right. And the maximum does look like it happens at 20. So we're good. We're good. Now, technically speaking, to make sure it's inflection point, we have to make sure that the first derivative at 40 isn't zero. So if I just calculate that, um, 0 0.003 uh, uh, times 40 squared minus 0 0.24 times 40 plus 3.6, that's minus 6 over 5. Uh, which is not zero. So therefore, uh, the inflection point's height will be at the 40. Now, the last thing, I, they wanted the height, so I'll have to sub the 40 back in. Oh, have I not done that already, actually? Yes, yeah, 21. Okay, find the average height. Okay, well, the average height would be 1 over b minus a. Who's calling me? Oh, okay, I'll call back. b minus a integrate from 0 to 75, this function here. Oh, I'm running out of space. Well, a little bit too big. So that'll be 1 over 75. Increase the power by 1. And then divide by the new power. Increase the... That's, I lost the 2 there. Increase the power by 1. Divide by the new power. Increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, and then 5x, and then the limits 0 and 75. Okay. Let's put in the two limits and subtract them. This will take a moment. Two decimal places, it'll be 655 over 32, which is 20.47 meters. Okay. Oh, that's the end of that question. Let's see, does 20.47 look like a reasonable average height? Yeah, it does indeed.